Let's change our Django model to add a description field for each poll. I can open the models.py file the traditional way using the project tree, or by using the find file action in speed typing. Instead, I will use navigate to symbol to go directly to the class. Once there, I add a description field. PyCharm Professional Edition helps me with the autocomplete. I then viewed the Django model dependency diagram for the polls application, showing question and choice. I need to update the migrations. I can open PyCharm Professionals Manage.py console to generate a migration, then apply it along with the other migrations. This new migration file isn't in VCS yet. I select it and use the VCS operations menu to add it. Since I have an existing poll in the database, I need to add a description to the row. I can connect the database by double clicking the SQLite file, which auto connects. I'll then browse to the table and open it. Here I can see the rows, select the description value, supply a new one, and then send the changes to the database. Let's add some raw SQL to see missing descriptions. Back on the question model, I add a method to return the IDs of the missing descriptions. I assign this based on an inline SQL query using a string I language inject as SQLite. I can now autocomplete in the string, not just on SQL, but on column names and table names in my database. Does the SQL query work? I can use a context menu to perform the query in the database tool, seeing that we have no rows with missing descriptions. Next, does the Python static method work? I'll test with the Python console, which loads all my Django settings. After an import, I can run the static method and get the count. This looks good, so I'll commit my changes using the VCS pop-up with a simple commit message. As usual, we rerun the test at each stage to see if we've broken anything. Our tests still pass. Now we can proceed to wiring description support into our view. 